Welcome to the Integra LTC Solutions podcast series. This podcast series is a collection of discussions and interviews about our pharmacy technology products and the services helping to position our customers for the best possible outcomes for operational success. Our mission of mindful design and thoughtful service drives us to deliver the best software and technology for your long-term care pharmacy operations to help you deliver the best patient care. The Integra LTC Solutions podcast series is a part of the Pharmacy Podcast Network. Welcome to the Pharmacy Podcast Network's coverage of the 2018 Integra Conference, Technology Conference here in Denver, Colorado. I am extremely excited to be here covering this event. This event has been absolutely magnificent. What's even more exciting is the return of three pioneers, people who understand this industry from the inside out, Mr. Kevin Welsh, Alan Turfey and Saul Factor. Welcome back to the Pharmacy Podcast Network. And hi, this is uh, Kevin Welsh again. I look forward to catching up and hopefully we can bring some new information to bear. Todd, thank you for having us uh, back today. This is Alan Turfey. I look forward to a great podcast. Todd, Saul Factor, welcome back again and look forward to uh, bringing some new things to light. I would like to let our listeners know something. The Pharmacy Podcast has been out there broadcasting, collecting great discussions since 2009. March 2nd, 2009 was our very first episode. Embarrassing. Nobody go back and actually look at that. The quality of this show, the quality of our guests, and the injection of ideas has been absolutely significant. Integra has actually set a very interesting record 16,000 downloads and listens in a 30-day period, which is astronomical, and I'm so excited about what you're generating. You're obviously generating talk, you're generating subject matter expertise, and that is what's going to lead me to my very first question, an update on what is new at J.M. Smith Corporation. This question starts out for Alan. Well, Todd, thank you. Since we've last spoken, we have brought all our technology under a single team, led by Kevin Welch. At the same time, Saw Factors leading our wholesale distribution businesses, namely the Smith Drug Company and Burlington Drug Company. This transition keeps innovation at the heart of all that we do. Within our technology businesses, we are making incremental investments in dedicated resources to bring new developments to market faster and to make sure we are providing the best customer experience while also delivering the highest quality in the industry. Our technology philosophy is based on an open architecture which integrates nicely with not only our systems but other systems used by our customers. On the distribution side, we are expanding our geographic footprint and the market segments that we serve while also continuing to have the best-in-class service experience that we are known for. You know, my comfort zone in the space of pharmacy, long-term care pharmacy, which is where I started, has always been in the technology front. Kevin, I've known you for years, and what I'm excited about is hearing from your perspective with all of this change and integration of companies, what's in store on the technology front? Well, Todd, this is a, a great question, and... The good news is that there's a lot in store, but at the same time, we're sticking to our basics. Our fundamental philosophy is that we believe in open systems. And so you can pick and choose your various components in your pharmacy based on your business needs uh, to accomplish the mission that you have. Um, To complement that, we're also trying to um, upgrade our technical platforms, and we're doing this by significant investments in our development and QA staff. And also, we're moving to a new uh, service model. Uh, It's been partially implemented, but now we're trying to fully implement it. It's called the Ranger model, which would dramatically improve our ability uh, to service and support customers. The nut of that model, the the, the takeaway is, is that when you call, our goal is to pick up the phone on the first ring and put you in touch with somebody who can solve that problem then and there. No runarounds, no waiting, no call escalations. And so um, we have more R&D going on right now in new products than we ever have in the history of the company. And I really look forward to the next few years. 
Saul, there's been a tremendous amount of churn and change in what is the business of pharmacy, especially within the last two years. Let's talk about what sets Smith Drug apart from any other company out there. Well, thanks, Todd. The, um, I think the number one thing that sets Smith Drug apart is our focus solely on the customer and our customer centricity. We really believe that everything we do, we put the customer in the middle of. And if we look at it through the customer's lens and make sure that our customers are successful, ultimately we're gonna be successful in the industry. At the same time, part of that customer centricity involves service and being able to provide world-class service to our customers day in, day out, regardless of weather conditions, regardless of economic conditions, we make sure that our customers uh, get the service that they need to service their, their patients. Um, as part of that, that whole focus on the customer, it's driven by the culture of our company. Uh, I talk about the longevity of our workforce and, and their belief in what they do services a higher cause, which is around patient care. Um, and then lastly, because more customers are looking for that type of service, we continue to expand our footprint. Uh, we've just opened up a new distribution center in Cary, Ohio, to uh, expand our, our distribution footprint, which allows us to serve more customers uh, with the type of service that they're We are at one of the premier events for long-term care pharmacy technology with the type of organizations that are coming together under this banner, the 2018 Integra Conference. And what's exciting for me is to see all of the different market segments actually starting to blend. Kevin, both you and Saul have talked about market segmentation. Can you tell me what that really means? Well, I guess to start with, this is Kevin again. Um, you know, pharmacy, it consists of many different types of businesses, some of which are standalone, some of which are combined. We talk about combo shops. Right. And so um, what we're trying to do is provide an array of solutions that facilitate the pharmacies to run their businesses based on the needs and opportunities that they have in front of them. And so a retail or community pharmacy is very different than a long-term care pharmacy. Right. We believe that they need different solutions and they need, in effect, different support models. And so under the Smith Technologies banner, we have a number of brands. And these brands represent centers of excellence. Like for example, in this conference, this is the Integra brand, which is solely focused on long-term care. So at our conference here, you have people that have decades of experience in long-term care we're only exhibiting and presenting and talking about long-term care software. And so we have this Integra Center of Excellence that's trying to service and provide this segment with the very best products and services we can. Now as part of making that a reality, um, we have moved Prime Care from QS1, and Prime Care being our long-term care uh, pharmacy management system, we have moved it over to Integra so that Integra can be that center of excellence. We've also made a number of changes in how we run the business. One notable one that I'll bring to your attention is that we now have a product management-led organization. It's like a business within a business, and each product manager is responsible for a particular product line and has profit and loss responsibility and are the ultimate go-to person for resolving issues with customers. In the past, customers have come to me and said, well, you know, I, I want this feature, but who do I talk to to get this feature, or I have this defect, or, or, or so on. Well, now it's, the lines of responsibility are very clear. Each product has a product manager who is responsible to the organization for making that product successful in the market and also in the eyes of the customer. One of the challenges of scaling and merging companies is trying to be too much to everyone. 
And by doing it that way, Kevin, you've really built separate companies under one banner that your customers can take advantage of that subject matter expertise while growing their businesses in other segments of pharmacy. So what's exciting for me when I'm looking at the Smith Drug Company, if you want to continue to grow your institutional, but you also want to concentrate on your community and then possibly trickle into the world of specialty, you're going to have the subject matter expertise and talent as well as technology to do that. Saul, how is customer centricity working at Smith Drug Company? Well, Todd, that's a great question. And I think it starts all with community-inspired service. Our service people are local. They know their customer. They're not just an account number, but they know the customer all the way down to our warehouse workers. Uh, our average tenure of our warehouse workers is 10 years. Wow. That is a significant departure for most warehouse workers in the United States, especially those who work on second and third shift. Um, and we, we believe that that is about how they view customer centricity, uh, where it, we're talking about a patient, not just a delivery of goods. I think the second piece is making sure you have close touch with your customers. We have a number of pharmacy business consulted consultants dedicated to our customers, making sure that they are talking with our customers, touching our customers, listening, most importantly, listening to our customers, and bringing the opportunities for us to provide solutions to our customers for their needs back to us so that we can work on them. At the same time, we also believe in segmentation. All of our customers are not the same, similar to Kevin's right. world. And with that, we've dedicated a team to long-term care with significant long-term care expertise that allows us to um, go in and deal with the specific complexities of that segment of the market and develop programs, processes, and features focused specifically on those customer segments. And lastly, uh, again, customer centricity is all about being close to the customer, whether it's on a phone, whether it's in person, and as I said earlier, um, you know, the, our, our new carry distribution center brings us closer to our customers in the upper Midwest, where maybe we weren't as close as we could be in the, in the past. That's great because delivery times are going to improve as well as expansion. And if I'm a pharmacy owner and want to expand myself, now I know you're in that territory. So that's great to hear. Alan, we're talking about listening to the voices of our customers. How did that shape the organizational change at J.M. Smith Corporation? Throughout my career, I've always found that success comes when the team truly listens to customers and commits to making everything we do based on what our customers are telling us. Our decision to create technology centers of excellence and to align technology and distribution under these two leaders was based on feedback from customers and feedback from our employees. We are blessed to have some of the best people you'll find anywhere working for J.M. Smith Corporation. Staff who've given up weekends to help a customer resolve an issue so they could continue to serve their patients. Employees who have driven into the aftermath of hurricanes to deliver product when our competitors were turning down orders. When you have people like these, people who will do whatever it takes for a customer to be successful, you've got something special. So empowering this incredible resource to give the customers the products and the service they have told us they want only makes sense. Continuing to ask our customers what they want and need and then coming up with the best way to provide it is indeed a win-win for both of us. Kevin, pharmacy is changing. I've been in the industry now since 2004 and I tell you what, I've seen changes uh, on all fronts, including the coming of provider status, the way that pharmacogenomics is being leveraged to really uh, customize the concierge pharmacist per se as a consultant, and the challenges from reimbursement are daunting. So with those changes, where do you see pharmacy going? Well, this is a difficult question. You know, I think to start with, I think, I think the change is sort of going to be the only constant of this industry. And if, in fact, it may even accelerate. 
as, as, as we continue. And so certainly integration of care is, is one a facet that we, we, we see. We also see increasing regulatory oversight and um, we see uh, kind of the emergence of these vertically integrated network providers. And, and so the systems and software that we provide has to play well in that new world. It's also getting increasingly uh, competitive for uh, the pharmacies to uh, make a reasonable profit and adequately service their customers. And so this is driving us uh, to double down in innovation and also try to make our systems more efficient because one of the largest controllable expenses for an institutional pharmacy is their labor costs. And we're trying to develop and maintain and provide systems that are the most efficient in the industry and have the lowest total cost of ownership. And in addition, it comes back with the integration. The only way you can really be integrated is if you have an open platform. And so for most of our products, we have a software development kit. And any third party can interface to our systems. You are not locked in to a closed system. And as a result of that, at this conference that we have here, we have many people attending the conference that use different pharmacy management systems than than say prime care that we sell. And that's great. And we, we encourage them to be here. And so we're committed to open systems and it really drives down to innovation. And we have more innovation going on than I think we ever had in the history of Integra. Probably 40% of our staff are working on new products that are not on the market today. And an example of this innovation that we've re just announced recently our Mavesi data analytics product line. And that's continuing our tradition of open platforms. Out of the box today, it supports 18 different pharmacy management systems. And you can roll them all up into a centralized cloud-based analytics system and pipe that data into your accounting system. For example, we have interfaces with QuickBooks and, and so on. And so the pace of change is going to pick up and it, that raises the bar for us as a company for innovation. And the good news is, as part of uh, the James Smith Corporation, they've given Integra the resources that, that we need to compete. And I look forward to what we can accomplish in the next few years. Saul, so in wrapping up the show, in really driving action, which I love to do in any of my podcasts, I want to pose a question to you. We have listeners that are customers. We have listeners that are prospects. We have listeners that might be, become future partners of the J.M. Smith Corporation. What's your message to people, professionals, like us all sitting in this room at the Integra Technology Conference here, 2018? What's your message to, um, to the professionals that are listening to the show today? Well, I think to echo one of Kevin's comments, I think my first message is change is occurring and you need to embrace change. Um, it's gonna happen regardless of whether you, you want it to or not, so embrace it, work with it, and understand where you're going. It's, it's very similar to what's happened in pharmacy as a whole. You know, I'm a pharmacist, I'm old enough to remember when we used to type out labels on an IBM Selectric typewriter, <laughs> uh, you know, and, and our job was really, quote unquote, count poor, lick and stick. And uh, that's what we did. Today, we're a healthcare destination point. We're, as you said, we're driving towards provider status. And at the end of the day, we will become the gateway into a continuum of care for those patients. And especially around transitions of care, as people move through the healthcare system, uh, pharmacy, pharmacy technology will be key in making those transitions of care successful for patients. So I think I'd leave with a very positive message to pharmacy. Yes, do we have our problems? We do. Reimbursement is difficult. Uh, regulation is difficult. But what I would leave is on a very positive message, which is there is a lot to look forward to. 
as our industry continues to change, continue to drive innovation in our industry, continue to change our industry, uh, and there will be uh, a wealth of things that pharmacists and pharmacies can do in the future to really make a tremendous impact on the lives of Americans as well as uh, on the lives of other people in our industry. Kevin, Alan, Saul, it has been a pleasure and an honor to be part of the 2018 Integra event. Hope to be back next year and just want to say that I can see things taking place just from uh, even several months ago with the um, with the constant drive with the customer in the center of this all. And um, I'm proud to be part of this, so thank you. Thank you for listening to the Integra LTC Solutions podcast series, part of the Pharmacy Podcast Network. Integra designs, develops, and supports long-term care pharmacy software solutions for the LTC pharmacy market. Focused on meeting customer needs, our mission of mindful design and thoughtful service drives us to create the most functional, intuitive products on the market. Contact us today to talk about your long-term care pharmacy's operations. Find us on the web at integragroup.com.